Hello everyone, Penny here from the Junk Journal Ministry, and that's just Penny. And today I am working with the Grunge Shabby Scrap Journal Page Design Playbook and Workbook number 11. And the first instructions, because the instructions are written in here, but I wanted to do the videos as well to help you all and to guide you along about creating, getting your scraps together and creating a shabby journal. <clears throat> The Grunge Shabby Scrap Pages on Playbook and Workbook has layouts, examples, props, and printables. It's cre uh, it creates a 5 by 8 journal, and there are 8 different page design layouts. The page design layouts are those designs that you put on a page. Okay, Some people have trouble with putting things together or with layering or putting together a page where the tucks and pockets goes and things like that. So... This playbook was designed for you to use the example layouts and create a junk journal page following the examples. Use your scraps, junk mail, junk papers, old book text, receipts, dollies, fabric, buttons, music papers, etc. to create eight page designs. The prompts are there merely for you to dig through your stash to select the general theme of the prompts. I love using my junk and printables to create a page design that has a purpose like a pocket or a tuck. This isn't merely a collage, but a collage or cluster or layering with a purpose. I love hidden pockets, tucks, slides, etc. that can be utilized for a purpose. And I said, dig it out, layer it up, and use it. And this is a layering method. You can, some people call it collage. Some people call it just um, clusters. So clustering it up, layering it up. So here's what the little examples, the instructions of the examples look like. The example sheets are for you to get a general idea of how I like to layer, but also provide pockets and tucks. The prompts and supplies are listed along with the detailed al alphabetized order of layers. The printable sheets, which is these, are available if you wish to create a journal page with me. You can print, cut, and create with the provided printables. There will be a YouTube playlist entitled JJ Playbook Number 11 for you to follow me as I design and create each page. The workbook is also available. There's two sheets of the workbook. For those wishing to add to or expand with templates in their page designs, the workbook can help you decide on the particulars of the design of the journal, its covers, spine method, and the page designs itself. Extra templates can also be found on the ministry's website to print, cut, and create. So to begin, you will need to create a basic junk journal signature, which is what this is, with at least four pages, 11 and a eight and a half, you know, 11 by eight or 10 by eight folded. Um, add your own papers, which you saw me do. This kit was designed to fit five by eight pages. A signature is a stacked group of papers folded in the middle, sewn or stapled together to form a journal. If you do not know how, um, check out the previous video. So I'm going to be using, and it says vanilla, but it's supposed to be manila, a document envelope, and it talks about that. It says uh, once you have your basic plan, play, basic plain base journal assembled, choose if you wish to create with the printables provided or start digging through your junk supplies to cover each prompt. There are eight prompts. See the pages on example pages to view the prompts and supplies. If you choose to print the printables available, um, have them printed, cut, ripped, distressed, and ready to layer ahead of time. So this is where we are at. So, so this is um, my one, well, the worksheet that I started. This is the add-on. This is the journal page layout guide. It talks about the cover. It talks about what spine method. I chose a three-hole pamphlet stitch, which you saw me already do. And then I'm going to decide if I want a top loading pockets or b side loading pockets. So this is kind of just a guide to um, help you choose what you want. So I just chose, I want to do some scrap papers like a master board, a scrap of master board, and then I'm gonna cut it to fit my cover. And then this is the page design. This is the Flip View Journal Pages Layouts. This is the layouts 
that I have chosen, I've chosen eight. And again, this is covers, fine. Inside cover, I'm going to put two pockets with the scrap master board paper. Uh, some people call it Franken paper. So um, it's Franken paper, like Frankenstein. And that came from Nick the Booksmith is where that I saw that from. I'm sure ever, several other artists and creators also do Franken paper or um, they call it collage paper or um, scrap paper, whatever you want to call it. So people sew those together. But anyway, it's more or less just using your scraps up. Um, so I'm going to be using some scraps to make a master board. And master board is just a complete sheet of just, I'm going to glue a bunch of scraps together. Or may sew, I don't know, depending on, I may just glue some down. And then I'm going to use some matte medium over it to secure. Um, but these are the layouts that I chose. Um, I, I, I did not, uh, I did not create the journal in this. I kind of did this first. Um, but I will do one as we go along so you can see what I actually did. These are, these page designs are actually the examples. These. So these designs here are actually these that I worked up digitally. Okay, so I first go here and then I do this. However, my examples are there for you. Um, they're, they're on the website for you to download for free. Um, but there's also, you can print off your own worksheets. Okay, this is the, the workbook part of the playbook. Do not make fun of me about my large pencil. I love these pencils. I haven't seen them in quite a while. Um, they are, yeah, they are the large one, the primary pencils. But guys, let me tell you something. I love these things. It does not hurt my hand to write with these. So don't make fun of me. But it has a mega huge eraser. Yes, 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 yes. So, but yeah. Anyway, um, Dollar Tree has these. Yes. So two for a pack. Two in a pack. So that, that's, yeah, that's what I want to say. This is, uh, it, this gives you some information about how to actually start your journal and what uh, kind of get your mindset into what your spine you want you want your spine to be what uh, which method do you want uh, what you want on your cover or if you want a wrap around cover like I did or if you want a spine with hinges you know if you want an altered book whatever that you want this worksheet will help you I hope to determine that um, so what I've chose is I've chose I have Mine, I already created this right here. I've already did one, so I'm not going to work on this sheet. I'm going to show you mine. You can see it. See how I kind of wanted to do just a scrap, like Franken paper or a master board uh, cover, and it says sewn or glued um, master board you know, like Franken paper. If you don't know what Franken paper is, uh, I think book, Nick the Booksmith is the one who came up with that with that term. But it's just a bunch of scraps glued to a base page. They can be sewn, sewn or glued, whatever. Um, and then you can use it like a collage board, like if you're, you know, for various other. I'm going to be doing the three-hole pamphlet stitch. So this worksheet I've already completed. Um, so before I made my journal... <laughs> I showed it to you, but I didn't go over go over it. So now, also, I went ahead and created the flip view. These are examples are are will be available on the website. So yeah, but I made these examples before I made my journal. So that's why I wanted to kind of correct where that I was at. So. You can do, plot this down before you make your journal. Do this worksheet and do this worksheet before you make your journal if you want to. But since our page design layouts have already been uh, suggested for you to complete right here, um, then we, we I just want to fill in of where I am. Okay, so I'm going to kind of redo uh, what I just did. So the cover, we know I want to do the Franken paper. I know I want to do that. The master collage, master board, the spine, like I said, I did, I did do three instead of two. So I'm just kind of going to come in here and just correct what that I didn't have on here. Okay. So I'm just going to draw like strips of just scraps. 
they can be whatever size they could be big whatever but I'm gonna try to keep them oh it's just scraps for the inside spine I'm still going to be doing the pockets so this is going to be a pocket this is going to be a pocket okay and I did put fabric so I put fabric here and I did put fabric here so it's actually a wrap around wrap around okay and this is actually a manila folder or I'm sorry envelope envelope not a folder envelope it's like a mailing envelope the back cover I'm just gonna do the same thing for the front cover so my first page I know this is my suggested um, design page design so if I look in my journal though you see this so this is this first page is actually this page the inside this is my left inside this is my right inside and this is this up here okay hope that makes sense so the first page this is the first plate because this is flip view okay so my first page is just copy dyed paper okay this is the second page. This one is the third page. So my third page is actually this old advertisement. Does it matter what my base pages are? No, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you into relation to this worksheet, okay? Fourth page is the back. Fifth page is this one. The sixth page is the writing paper. Seventh page is tea dyed. Eighth page is tea dyed. The next ninth page is a little sheet. So I need to mark that in my, okay? So this is, I'm just going to put T here. And, okay, and this one's T. And then this one is the lined paper. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. The ninth page is also a short page. Coloring books, I can put a C down here for coloring page. 12 coloring page. This is, is T actually, T paper, T paper. This is craft paper, so I'm gonna put a K for craft, which I do that, it's supposed to be a C, but I like to do that. I know, craft cheese, right? I love cheese. This is actually coffee paper, so put a CO for coffee, another CO. But my pages keep going, so I can print more. If I have more pages, I can print more, okay? You see that? I have more than 18 pages. I have 10, so I have, t so I have 10. So that actually 10 times 4, right, is 40 pages in this journal. Can you believe it? I have 10 papers. There's four sides to the paper. Okay. And I will see you for the next video. Bye everyone.